Hi everybody, I've been blabbering on a little bit about the importance of trust and things in presentations and communications. Actually, do you know what? Anything where you're talking to other people and you're trying to convince them that you're the expert on, on something. So here's me just putting something together really quick for you. Um, have a quick look. Would you agree that competence is, it, it, I mean, I'm going to pretend it's a binary variable, you're either competent or you're not. And in fact, we know it's, it's, it's a continuous variable, but let's pretend it's just a, a, a yes or no. And similarly, uh, warmth or trust or engagement, wh whatever you want to call it, let's pretend that's also a binary variable. And if it is, it gives us these four options. You can be incompetent and warm, incompetent and cold, competent and cold and competent and warm. Pretty obviously the one you're aiming for is competent and warm. Why? It's a bit of evolutionary biology basically when you're talking about tribal leaders and all of that kind of stuff. If you're wanting to have a leader, someone you trust to protect the tribe, they have to be able to protect the tribe. Are they competent? And are they going to protect the tribe? Or are they going to go off and do their own thing? On a personal level, it's the same thing. Can they help me? And will they help me? For me to trust somebody, I have to figure that they can and will help me. Now, there's a little bit of an overlap. It's not quite as simple as I'm making it sound because you can make people like you more by compromising your competence, as certain politicians have, have done. They've become popular by being a buffoon, for example. Or you could be the clinical scientist who's utterly high on the competence but nobody emotionally engages with. Your job as communicators and presenters is to find ways to do both. Easier said than done, I know. A couple of tricks. Uh, tips for you that might help. For example, um, if you want warmth is often associated with mistakes or improvisation, so just apologise for them and move on. Or maybe warmth is associated with giving people more information about yourself personally. So think very carefully that the mistakes you make and the information that you give away are, are, are things not to do with whatever it is you're interested in. So I might talk about being a bad gardener, but that doesn't undermine my skills as a presenter or something along those lines. And similarly, competence is, is tra kind of transferable. So you just have to find ways of demonstrating competence in anything and everything, not just what it is that you're talking about at the time. It's kind of obvious as soon as I say it, really. You're aiming for competent and warm rather than competent or warm. No biggie.